Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video. Welcome to my garage. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of body work I've been doing on Ratchet to get him ready for paint. And I'm going to show you the paint testing that I'm doing so that hopefully I can select what paints I'm going to go with. So what I've been doing with Ratchet is just taking panel by panel off and just doing some minor body work. I'm not uh, you know, I've said this before, I'm not trying to make it a show car, but I'm trying to make it a little bit nicer. As an example, there was a a pretty decent sized, um, like a pocket where the gel coat had some air underneath it here. And I just put some Bondo in there and smoothed it out. And then on something like this, I went around and anywhere there were some obvious blemishes, I would just put in a little bit of glazing putty there and smooth that out. I did things like cleaned up the edge here, sanded it smooth, and painted this. This edge wasn't painted before. I need everything to have a white primer on it prior to painting. So I got things like that taken care of. There was a really big, it was like this long chunk, where just like in the front, some air had gotten underneath or between the gel coat and the resin. So there was a big, a big chunk missing here. And you know, I filled that in with Bondo and smoothed it out. So I've just been going around and taking care of little things like that. Same thing on the the roof. Uh, there were a lot, actually a lot of blemishes on here. There's still some. I'm not making it perfect. Uh, you can still see some marks there, but there was a lot more. Like this looks way better than it did. Um, and this is, I'm I'm perfectly happy with this as my final product for paint. And I did actually, when I was doing the roof, I didn't do this for the other panels, but when I was doing the roof, I was uh, taking pictures as I went along, so let me throw you guys into a little slideshow right now just so that you can get a little bit better idea what I was doing with that stuff, and then when you're back from that, we'll take a look at the paint. So these are those fenders that you just saw. This is the second blue that I have tested and uh, I really like this one. This is going to be the one that I go with for sure. This is a good quality blue as well. I'll show you the can upstairs. And then this has a, a clear coat on it as well. And actually down here I'm experimenting with some buffing compounds and trying to get it a little bit nicer. You can see it's got some orange peel there, but uh, I'm actually really happy with this. If everything comes out 
like this, I'll be real happy with the, the whole paint job. But uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you the paint that I've got for now. So the first three colors I tested were these Duplicolor colors. I think I showed you these in another video. And I tested these on some white fiberglass. I'll show you that in a minute. This was the blue. I don't know how well you're going to be able to, to see this, but I actually really like the color and the paint itself is really easy to spray, but it's pearl and I don't like that. This is the green. I thought this was going to be really cool and this is actually a really nice color, but again, it's pearl. This is the yellow. It's a fairly bright yellow and this is not pearl, so this was pretty nice, but let me, let me show you how they looked. Okay, here is my first test board. This is the blue. This is that pearly blue. This is the raw blue. This is the blue with a clear coat. So you can see this is the same, but with the clear coat it's like a thousand times nicer. So this is the blue. This is the yellow. You can see where they, where they blend. They don't mix at all. Absolutely none. I painted the yellow first. I brought the blue into it. Does not mix at all. Same thing with the green, although the green looks better. This is the green with some clear coat. This is actually really nice. This is a very nice color. I like that a lot. Um, and it does have clear coat on there, so it's got some nice gloss. But again, where the blue blends in, it doesn't mix. It looks good. I actually really think that's a nice look, but there's no blending. Then here, this is fluorescent. It doesn't look all that fluorescent through the camera, but trust me, this is a fairly bright fluorescent yellow. And, and it also has a clear coat on it. But you can see here where this blue blends with the fluorescent, it makes a little bit of a green when they transition. And then any of the blue up here becomes green wherever it hits the fluorescent. That's what I'm looking for, but this isn't any of the Duplicolor paints. That's actually just a can of Rust-Oleum fluorescent yellow paint. So that was interesting. However, that put these pretty much out of the running because I just, I wasn't real happy with these. It's a shame on the blue because this blue was pretty nice, but I don't like that it's a pearl. So in the meantime, I was ordering some other paints and I did order this paint. It's called Restoration Shop and I'll put links in the descriptions for these in case you guys are interested. This is that blue. This is the blue that I sprayed on the fenders. Really nice blue. You can see that's just, that's just like the bluest blue of blue. There's no pearl, there's no metallic, it's just blue. It's pretty bright. I, I maybe wish it was a little teeny tiny bit lighter, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. I think that's a real nice blue. And this is a quality paint, mainly because the biggest difference between paints like this and paints like this, these are ready to go. You spray them right out of the can. These paints require activators. This is called hardener, activator, whatever, whatever the brands call it. You have to add these activators or hardeners um, with that. And then this is the fluorescent yellow. I haven't even opened this yet. And this is the activator for that. And whenever you have a paint that has an activator, it, it's kind of like an epoxy and it's always a much stronger, much better paint. However, these are more expensive. These are each about 90 to $100 a quart. And these are $35 a quart. So there is a difference in price. Regardless, here's what I'm looking to do. I've got this sheet of paper here, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna spray that fluorescent paint I have in the can. I'm gonna spray some yellow, some blue, and then I'm gonna clear coat it. Then over here, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna start with the blue, then I'm gonna bring in the yellow, then I'm gonna clear coat it, then I'm gonna do the same thing down here, except I'm just gonna do the yellow, the blue, no clear coat, and then the blue and the yellow, no clear coat. Because I'm trying to find out if they mix, 
if the clear coat helps them mix and then if I want to do it with the yellow first or the blue first. And then I'm going to do a test over here. This is the yellow from the Rust-Oleum spray can and I don't think you guys, you really can't see this through the camera, but this is just, it, it's like a light pigment. It's, it's translucent, it's not glossy, and I think that's why the blue is able to mix with it. I, I have a feeling when I spray that quality fluorescent, it's such a quality paint, I am afraid once it hardens, the blue is not going to mix with it. It's just going to lay on top of it. So I'll have fluorescent yellow and then the blue. So I want to experiment with this fluorescent because since this is just spray can fluorescent, I'm wondering if when the blue touches this, it mixes. And if so, if that's the only way it works, I don't know, maybe I can, maybe I can rattle can just a small portion of the front and then bring the blue in. And then when I spray it with a quality clear coat, uh, this will then become glossy and and it'll be strong. So Regardless, those are the tests I have to do. I've got the yellows ready to go here And then on this side, I'm going to spray the blue first And then I'll bring the yellow into it because I want to see how that works And then just like on the other piece, I'm going to clear coat this one and this one and those two are uh, I will not so I think at this point, I'm just, I'm just going to get out a little airbrush just so that I can test little pieces here. I'm just going to get that out and I'm just going to mix up little teeny amounts of paint and I'm going to lay down these paints in the pattern I just told you and I'll see, I'll see how they look. Okay, so now I'm done with all my little practice pieces. Let's see what the winning combination was. I don't think you're gonna be able to see a lot of this through the camera, unfortunately, but for starters, this is the urethane fluorescent. This is the Rust-Oleum can fluorescent. They're both bright, but you can see the urethane is brighter. I think you can see that through the camera. So first and foremost of these two, the urethane is the way to go. So these were tests that I did with the Rust-Oleum. Not gonna worry about those. Come over here, I've got four tests that I did with the urethane. This is the one with the clear coat, you can tell, because it's shiny. This is also the one with clear coat, not quite as much, but here's what I did. On these, on this side, I sprayed the yellow first, then the blue, and then over here, I sprayed the blue first, then the yellow. And you can see this one might from the camera maybe look better, but what's happening is the blue, when I spray the yellow first, the blue isn't really blending much into the yellow. It is a little bit, 
And you can see there's a, a minor transition of green into the yellow. But if you go to the other side, you can see there's visibly more yellow, or I'm sorry, there's more green. So what's happening here is I'm spraying the blue first, and then the yellow comes in, and when the yellow hits these little droplets out here, it's turning green. It turns green where it meets the blue, but I think on the larger vehicle, when I'm using the big spray gun, I think I'll be able to feather it smoother into the blue, so I'm not too worried about that. So between these two, if, if you step back, you can kind of see that there's more green in this one than on this one. And then if we go to the clear coat, the clear coat makes it look even better. It makes the green a little bit more vivid. Hoping you can see that. Same thing over here. It just it is a little bit green, but you know, I think you guys can tell it's just a better transition when I go blue first and then yellow. And of course, it, it has it absolutely has to be clear coated because the fluorescent yellow is not gloss, so it has to be cleared, which is fine because the clear kind of helps tie the two together. So let's go downstairs and uh, I'll show you the plan for actually painting Ratchet. Okay, if you notice me walking around cautiously, it's because there's a big white dog on the floor right at my workbench. So now that I've done those tests, there is one thing I'm going to change. <clears throat> I now know that I'm using this blue. I mean, I love this blue. Look at that blue. Damn, that's a nice blue. Uh, I'm going to use this blue, and now I know I like that fluorescent yellow, so I'm going to use that yellow. And this blue and the yellow are really good quality paints, but then I clear coated this with that Duplicolor clear coat, which is not as high quality as these paints. So if you go to the inside, I didn't clear coat the inside. If you go to the inside and try to dig into that with your nail, I really, actually I can't. I can't. The paint is so strong. It's got such a like, I don't know, a hard shell on it, you can't dig your nail into it. But this clear coat, I don't want to do it on the surface, but I'll go around the corner here. You can, I mean, it's it's a strong paint, but you can, you can seat your nail in there and dig it in a little bit. So I feel like I'm taking these nice high quality paints and then putting this clear coat on it that's not as good. So before I paint Ratchet, and I'm hoping to maybe I'll be able to paint him this weekend, I'm going to run to Napa and see if I can get some urethane clear coat because I think that'll be much better. So let me show you how I'm going to lay the paint on Ratchet. It's really interesting. It's turning out to be completely opposite of how I do the radio controlled car bodies. When I take the car bodies, they're clear, so I'm painting them from the inside. So the first thing I do is I lay on that fluorescent yellow. And then I lay on the blue, and where the blue meets the yellow, it blends and it makes that green. And then you back that up with white, and when you back it up with the white, then the colors really come out and it looks really good. Come to find out, after all my testing, when I do Ratchet, everything's going to be completely the opposite. So when I do Ratchet here, I'm going to be starting with the white base. That's why I made sure everything had the white primer on it. Then I'm going to take the blue, let me carefully step over, I did not step on you bud. Then I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to run it up probably about halfway. I'll probably go on a little bit of an angle like this. So I'll probably catch three quarters of the door and right around this transition point I'll, I'll kind of feather it so as I'm It'll be solid blue this way, and then right around here it'll get thinner and thinner, and then I'll just throw some speckles that way. So I'll try to, I'll try to do that. And then when I got the blue on there, then I'm gonna come at it with the yellow. I'm gonna come this way, and I'm gonna try to do the same thing so that I don't get that green overlap on the solid blue. I'll just come with the yellow this way, 
And as I get closer to the transition, I'll just lighten it up and throw it that way. Then when I have all that on, then I'll spray the entire thing with the clear coat to lock everything in. So that's the plan. I don't know, I might be talking out my butt. I don't have really any experience with spray painting automobiles, but I think I have a plan now. And I'm hoping to be able to do it maybe this weekend or this might be the kind of thing where I actually prep for it over the weekend and take a day off of work so that I can just focus on it because I'm probably going to need an entire day to do this. But either way, uh, I'll get myself that urethane clear coat and I'll get a bunch of plastic because I'm going to hang a bunch of plastic around here so that I'm not getting overspray all over everything. And uh, hopefully the next video will be of me painting it, which is, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> I really hope it turns out pretty good. My expectations aren't super duper duper high, so I hope I can meet those, but I'm really hoping I can get a, a pretty cool looking blend. But either way guys, that's it for this video. I think I'm done with the paint testing. I know my game plan at this point and the body work is done. So hopefully the next one will be me painting it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it's helping you guys with whatever you're working on or just temporarily entertaining you. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.